Up next on the court, Russia versus Brazil. The first game in the men's competition today. Day number three at the Street Street Basketball Arena here in uh, Katara Beach. At the 2019 NLC World Beach Games. Dmitry Chiburkin with the first shot of the game misses the two-pointer and the ball goes out of bounds. This should be a good game. Both teams uh, show a lot of skills during uh, the first day of the competition. And both teams undefeated so far. Branquinho here with the shot. And it goes out of bounds. Brazil won against uh, Latvia 21 to 9. And they defeated Uganda. Unfortunately for uh, Uganda, they had to forfeit that game after coming here with uh, only a three man roster. Nice pass inside by Chiburki, and that will count for a point for after a goaltending against Brazil. One of the players uh, for Uganda got injured, so they were not allowed to play during uh, the second game. 3x3 three three rules are pretty clear. You need at least three players on the court to start uh, the game. Russia won 19-15 uh, against Latvia and 14-11 against Uganda. So it was not easy, but uh, they got the Ws. The basket will count here. Parcial with a tough up and under. So Alexandre Parcial going to the free throw line, trying to give uh, Brazil first lead of the game. So just like I said, both teams undefeated. They are both qualified for the quarterfinals. Of course, the winner of this game will uh, take the top spot in Group A and will theoretically have an easier opponent. A miss from outside for Ivan Hramov. Parcial again down low trying to use that big body and he does that perfectly after lowering the shoulder over Chiburkin. Dimitri Chiburkin puts the ball inside. Bad shot by Hramov. That was altered by uh, Fabricio da Silva. And uh, Fabricio gets the friendly roll there after the floater. Brazil is up by two. Chiburkin stops. Puts it up, the scoop shot, what a move by Dmitry Chiburkin. Usually he has an uh, aggressive style of finishing the ball inside, but this time a lot of finesse from the big fella. Dmitry Chiburkin, one of the players uh, for Gagarin in the FIBA 3x3 World Tour. So he has plenty of uh, experience on the highest stage of 3x3 basketball. Keep in mind for the World Beach Games, only players 23 years of age and younger were allowed to participate. But Chiburkin fits that criteria. He was also part of the Russian team who participated uh, during this season of the U23 Nations League. And he was named the MVP of the final tournament in Budapest about three weeks ago. A missed shot from outside. That was uh, Vierman. Now Russia with the ball. Hramov trying to put it up. Comes up short. And then we have a foul against Branquinho. Gonna be team foul uh, number one. No, actually, that's team fall number two against uh, Brazil. Abramovsky. And another foul. Alexander Parcial telling to Abramovsky, you want that point? You're not going to get it that easy. So you better go to the line and sink it from there if you have the accuracy. And it looks like he does. Gets the ball back here. This is Chiburkin. Chiburkin kicks it out. One point jumper, nothing but net for Vasily Bernikov. Branquinho. Parcial. And that's an offensive foul. Away from the ball, Fabricio pushed his opponent. He's not arguing with that call, saying, I know what I did. 
My bad. Abramovsky for two in, out, and in. Jesus, it goes in by the three Russian Federation over Brazil. Fabricio down low to Parcial. Parcial lost his defender on the way. And that was easy breezy in the end. Abramovsky. Is it up to Ramov. Ramov, the bounce pass to Abramovsky. Let's it fly for two. Way too long. Parcial with the board. Fabricio. The hesitation move and then he draws the contact. Team foul number two against the Russian Federation. Was not in the act of shooting. The contact was uh, on the first step when he started to dribble that ball. Vierman from the corner. No eight ball to the corner pocket this time. Chiburkin. He can play some ice on that wing if he wants. He's going to work now in the paint. Chiburkin, tough shot, but he bends it in. Nice move by uh, Dimitri Chiburkin. Branquinho gives it up to uh, Vierman. Vierman back to Branquinho, pulls the trigger. Bang! And we are tied at six. Abramovsky had Chiburkin open for a moment, finds Bernikov. On the left side, but Bernikov misses that shot. Branquinho now to Fabrizio. Fabrizio lost Bernikov on the way. And Ivan Dokja Burking was there, acting like a wall. Looks like the Brazilian player had the ladder. And he said, you know what? I'm not going to be afraid of that fence. Timeout with 6-11 to go. Once again, that play going straight to the teeth of the defense. And not showing any fear. Fabricio da Silva, that's a bad man. A little bit of a trash talk after that basket. Chiburkin telling him to calm down a little bit. Don't get too excited, Mr. Fabricio. I can do that too. You're going to see that later. I think that was the message there. Well, Chiburkin talks the talk. Now let's see if he can walk the walk. Parcial in the paint, and that's a foul against Chiburkin. So Fabrizio will go to the free throw line for one shot. And he will have the chance to give Brazil a two point lead. Parcial comes up short and then falls Verdikov. Trying to get that ball back for his team. Abramovsky, Bernikov, back to Abramovsky. The bounce pass inside. Bernikov trying to save that ball, but he can't. Fabricio down low to Parcial. Parcial is double. Finds Fabricio nicely done in traffic. He spotted the open teammate. And that was more delicious than a Brazilian dish on Ipanema. Nicely done here for the Russian Federation. Ivan Kramov getting the point for his team. Parcial going to work. Shaking and baking. Brazil is up by two again. They are trying, they are starting to heat up here on the court. The bounce pass to Bernikov, but it uh, looks like Parcial was the last one to touch it. And uh, as he was checking out of the game, he was giving them the stare. And I mean the stare. Abramovsky from outside with hand in his face, missed that shot, did not touch the rim. So the shot clock did not reset. And that's a shot clock violation. No basket. Vierman gets it back from Branquinho. Branquinho here in the paint, lowers his shoulder and rolls it in. Chiburkin. Chiburkin is looking for something, but he is called for a traveling violation. Not happy with the call. 
Chaburkin seems uh, pretty frustrated already with uh, two straight calls against him. One for an easy foul, and now this one for a traveling violation, but I think the rest were right. A two-pointer here, in and out for uh, William Biermann. Abramovsky keeps the dribble alive. Not selling for the jump or the pump fake, and he draws the contact. Catching his opponent up in mid-air. He's going to the charity stripe, trying to make it a one-possession game. Abramovsky misses that free throw. Bernikov is there for the offensive rebound. But he lost the ball. Fabrice, I don't think that was cleared out. He realized that. Finds Biermann. What a smart play from Fabricio, who had the easy bucket, but uh, he realized that the ball was not cleared out. And just like that, he spotted his opponent wide open beyond the yard. And they got a double here. Four minutes left. Ramo gives it to Bernikov. Bernikov back to Cheburkin. Cheburkin for two. Got the back of the rim and then another foul. And Cheburkin wants to catch uh, breath. And he's going to do that during this uh, timeout. Three minutes and 55 seconds. Until the end of the game. Just like I said, both teams qualified for uh, the next round, but... They still want to get that first spot in this uh, Group A in the men's tournament. Branquinho finds Fabricio. Fabricio and uh, Chaburkin comes down with it. Now Ramo misses the tough shot. Abramovsky to Chaburkin. No good, but there is Ramo. To turn, uh, there is uh, Abramovsky, my bad, to turn garbage into goal. Biermann, now on end of post uh, to De Souza, Branquinho. We have a foul before the shot, team foul number five against uh, the Russian Federation. Parcial. Biermann. Abramovsky gets the rebound after the air ball. Cheburkin. Cheburkin here on the drive, lays it in with the left hand. Vierman for two. Not this time. Good box out by Cheburkin. Abramovsky with the rock, trying to create some space. The step back gene for two money. Right between the eyes of Parcial. And Russia is trailing only by one after being down by as many as four moments ago. Parcial trying to find something in the post. This time is closed. Come back tomorrow. Abramovsky lets it fly again. And Russia takes the lead after a 5 0 run. 13 to 12 with two and a half to go. Fabricio, the basket will not count, that was a good foul for the Russian Federation, actually the last foul to give. From now on both teams are over the limit. Parcial gets it on the wing. Parcial driving, protecting the ball. He wanted a foul. Game goes on. Oh, 
And now we have a foul against Brazil. Fabricio will send Abramovsky to the free throw line for two shots. First one rolls out. That was a problem during this game for the Russian Federation. Many missed free throws. Fabricio. And once again, the basket will not count, but Fabricio will head to the line for uh, two shots. He can tie the game, it's 14. First one goes in. One more shot for him. In and out. So Russia stays on top. There's a small gap between, between those two teams. Chaburkin not able to double it up. Misses that shot. Nice backdoor pass. And Vierman turns Fabricio da Silva's pass into an assist. Ball is deflected here. It will stay with Russia. 138 to go. Abramovsky from outside with a hand in his face. Almost went in, but Brazil will get it. This is a very good game we are watching here in uh, Katara Beach. Branquinho gives the ball to Fabricio. Fabricio down low to Parcial. Parcial underneath the basket and two. Counted plus the foul. And he will have the chance to put his team up by as many as three. Once again, that fake here, getting the contact, catching his opponent in midair, and now he's going to the free throw line for two shots. The first one goes in. One more for Parcial. It rolls out. So we still have a one possession game, but they call the foul here on the box out. Once again against Russia. No, that was against Brazil. That's what I thought initially, but then I saw Parcial going to the free throw line, ready to shoot two free throws. Well, those are not for you, man. These are for Dmitry Chepurkin with a chance to tie it at 16, but the first one is inaccurate. One more shot for Chepurkin, misses them both. Brazil now with the ball, Fabricio, down low to Parcial, Parcial going to work, looks for the open man, Fabricio not selling for the jumper, and we have again a turnover, a three second violation be um, against Brazil, so Russia once again with the ball, Chipurkin, Abramovsky, Abramovsky finds Chepurkin, open for two. Branquinho fights for the rebound. I think his hand was out of bounds when he was trying to save that ball. So uh, they're going to give the ball to Russia. Nice hustle there. Once again, Brazil wanted a ball, but uh, just like I said, Russia will get it from the 3x3 logo. This is Bernikov to Chepurkin in the post. Abramovsky for the tie. No good. Bernikov uh, with the offensive rebound. 
Abramovsky, this time going straight to the rim, but he is not allowed to get the point by Branquinho. And now Branquinho looking for the contact. The game goes on. Dmitry Chepurkin. 27 seconds left. Chepurkin trying to find some space, puts it up too strong on the glass. Brazil gets the board. Fabricio. Fabricio against Chepurkin, misses the shot, puts it up, and it is good. Brazil is up by three. Abramovsky with a two pointer. Fabricio saves the ball, but he steps out of bounds with one tenth of a second. So Brazil will get the W here against the Russian Federation. No time for a catch and shoot. They are actually saying the game is over. Brazil wins it 17 to 14 and they stay undefeated in the competition. Russia will qualify as a second spot for the quarterfinals and they will play against them again uh, tomorrow. Up next we're gonna move back uh, to the women's competition. Indonesia will face uh, China. We were supposed to see uh, Uganda versus Latvia, but I think uh, Uganda being uh, short-handed and being down uh, two men will not be able to compete. So, yeah, that's uh, confirmed right now. So Latvia will take the court, but uh, they're going to shoot around for, around for about uh, 20 minutes. And that will do it. So uh, Latvia will get uh, the W, the only win for them uh, during this uh, tournament, but uh, that will not be enough to qualify to the quarterfinals. So because of this, we're gonna have